Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And we continue our discussion with Gazelle, with Shiri, and with Gregory. And um, this this literally was happening as we had the conversation. And we're launching a LinkedIn page. And so, as we said, or as I said yesterday, if you can, so if you're Basically, women are getting this a hell of a lot. So if you can send screenshots, all the messages you've been sent in the comments below, what we're doing is we're starting a LinkedIn page called LinkedIn Me Too. And we're going to um, put this abuse front and center of a conversation in the same way as it occurred in the film industry or in the music industry because sexual violence is something which is endemic for it to be so ubiquitous is horrifying and so i urge you to please leave your comments because once we start to talk about this more and more then people will start to say oh yeah, I didn't speak up to defend that person. Oh, I let that person get away with that sexist comment. Because you have to be proactive to generate the society that we deserve to live in. All right, enjoy the show. So, yeah, I I think could it be could could it be an influence? Um, yes, it could. Uh, depending on where you come from and the belief systems. And I'm really interested to hear what, you know, Cassell has to say when she's able to, to, to get back in. Um, but, you know, I have, I have read the Bible a couple of times and, and to me there, and I'm no biblical scholar, uh, there does seem to be a, a difference, you know, between the Old Testament and the New Testament. And some of the traditions of the Old Testament would lead some people to believe that, you know, men are up here, women are down here, and they, they kind of have, there's reason for interpretation in that area. Um, when Christianity came around, it was more like, you know, love thy enemy, love everybody. And it was a little, little bit more, um, I don't know, ubiquitous. That's the way it was built to be. Is that the way it's practiced? Uh, I mean, a lot of Christians don't. And no. that's the problem. You know, I'm a Christian, but I'm going to treat you like crap. Well, that's not following. This is the, this is the whole thing. But this <laughs> is know? the whole so, thing, isn't it? So yeah. why is it? How is it? What is it? So, Kazel, tell me about your experience first, because I have questions bouncing around in my head at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened to my Zoom. I, I was gone again and came back. Yeah, All don't right. worry. Uh, actually, for this, as I was, yeah, as I was uh, mentioning, I am not a religious person at all. Um, I believe in humanity. As a Muslim girl, I read uh, I read Quran, I read Bible, both. I I went to church. You know, sometimes I feel like okay, Sunday I'm going to church. Oh, okay, Saturday I'm going to India's temple, Chinese temples. Yeah, there is actually there is no limitation for me for this kind of things. And um, I believe uh, as long as you are a human, I have to respect you and receive it back from you. That's all. This is what my belief. But for someone, it's not like that. Look, once um, there is one guy in LinkedIn, his name is Matthew. Uh, he is a very professional person and uh, he is into women. Uh, all the time he is posting about women. He is, po he is actually he is empowering women by okay. his posts. Yeah. Uh, then in one of his posts, he was uh, talking about uh, that women are not the second gender. Women are not, uh, we, we as women, we are not uh, deserve, we don't deserve, you know, to be raped by guys or to be a, a sexual tool for guys or to be slave of guys just because guys are here and we are, uh, you know, LG. <laughs> uh, then uh, under this uh, post, I wrote a comment about uh, women. Um, you know, while you are, while a woman is pregnant and when you are a germ, you're inside a woman's womb. When you are an infant, a woman is hugging you. You're inside a woman's cuddle. Uh, when you are growing, a woman is training you as your mom. And when you're an adult, uh, you will find love with a girl and you are inside a girl's heart. So all of your life as a man depends on a woman. So, uh, and totally, I said, in conclusion, we women, we are the second God on the earth. Mm. I said second God on the earth, okay? 
Then one Muslim person he attacked me. <laughs> then he wrote like, "How come you say you are God? What kind of God you are? You know, I see. Uh, if I find the that post for sure, I will tag you there." Then uh, I think um, how many? I think twenty people. Twenty people. They responded him. Actually, they attacked him. He attacked me one, and uh, in return, twenty person attacked him like. Hey, why well, you don't understand what she said, you know? Then um, I was like, oh my God. I was thinking, okay, what did I say? <laughs> mm. Did I insult anyone? Or, I just said all of your life depends on a woman. I was going to tell that the world without women is meaningless. So um, in support of that statement, so um, those of you that have a, uh, a, a an in, uh, understanding of uh, biology and the human body um, will know, well, first of all, we're 50% microbes versus 50% human cells. So the number of symbiotic relationships going on to carry this vessel around is, um, it's not, well, huh, this is where it comes down to design. So for me i don't believe in a higher and a higher power in that way so all of the random happenings where a gut bacteria digest food or something like that it's scientific mm -hmm. interest to me but what's of great interest to me is that mitochondria which is in every single cell apart from blood red blood cells is a symbiotic creature with its own dna that is the reason we can turn our food into the energy for the cells called ATP and mitochondria is only passed down women. And so not only would none of us be born but for women, but our bodies would not function but for the facility you give us all, which is mitochondria. Mm. 